Uh, but yeah, there it is. Upset. Huffman has knocked off Vider 13 to 7. I really hope that we can get those highlights because this was a huge game, one of the biggest games of the night. The number 10 ranked Pirates fall for the first time 13 to 7. Big text. James Grant was on the sidelines for that one, and uh, he was standing by out in Huffman for this wild game. And hey, you know, we didn't get to see your highlights, uh, James, uh, but we'll try to He's see it a little bit later. <laughs> Huffman pulling off the upset tonight over Vider. By the way, down there in Winnie, I know it's a chilly night, but we're definitely loving this great football weather. And that's right, Huffman Hargrave, the Falcons with the upset tonight. Of course, Fighter, like y'all were just talking about, a spectacular start this season, undefeated 7-0 and coming into tonight's game. But the Falcons were ultimately able to hold on and win 13-7, handing Vider their first loss. The Pirates really moved the ball well. We know how much Vider relies on that rush. They got quarterback Elijah Simmons, who really is, is pretty slippery himself, and then running backs Aaron and, and Will Elm in there, and those guys are, are tough to take down. And really, they were able to put together some nice drives tonight, ultimately unable to capitalize on those drives. And the quarterback Luke Thomas there for Huffman Hargrave, boy, he's a tough one, man. He's a dual threat, can throw it, he can run it on the ground. Really, he was able to do just enough tonight to push the Falcons over the edge, but the, the score remained the same. The second half, there wasn't a single score in that second half. It was 13-7 at halftime, and neither team able to push it across the line in the second half. So really, both defenses played extremely well tonight. Vider had two big picks in the first half, setting up great field position. But like I said, ultimately unable to convert those into points, and that came back to bite the Pirates in the end, but really a great season so far by Vider, and it's just getting started, really. They've got a big district matchup next Friday night to close out the regular season at home against Lumberton. That's a tough Raiders team. I saw them actually two weeks ago right here at Huffman. They beat the Falcons in a hard-fought game, so that'll I'll definitely be a great game next Friday night there over in Vider, but ultimately tonight, Huffman Hargrave taking down Vider, handing them their first loss of the season. Huffman Hargrave is a 7-2 on the year. They'll head over to Livingston next Friday night in that another big dish. How about this district, y'all? I mean, LCM, Vider, Huffman Hargrave, <laughs> uh, Lumberton's been tough this year. This is a tough district, so whoever comes out of this in the playoffs, they're going to be a tough team to beat. But tonight, Huffman Hargrave ultimately with the win again. 13-7 over Vider. Live in Huffman, James Grant, 409 Sports Blitz. All right, appreciate that, James. And, of course, with Vider's loss, that makes every one of these results very important. Let's take a look at that 10-4A Division I scoreboard right now. And I can tell you that LCM, they took care of business at home over Livingston, 33-15. So now LCM, guess what? They're tied for first. Vider holds the tiebreaker over them. Also, Lumberton beats Splendora 35 to seven. You guessed it, Lumberton is tied for first. So you got Lumberton, LCM, and Vider. Three-way tie for first. And oh, guess what? Lumberton travels to Vider next week. And we might have to break out the calculators, I would think, right? Or is it you know, just you, crazy? You know, when it comes down to that, it all depends who's gonna come out on top. Because, you know, if, if Vider takes care of Lumberton, they hold the tiebreaker over LCM. Now, if Lumberton beats Vider, LCM holds the tiebreaker over Lumberton in the head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep you posted. It's like an arts and crafts event. Don't gotta... worry, I'm going to be sending out <laughs> all the crafts. information this week. We're going to have the whole 409 sports team ready for all that math breakdown. That one is going to be crazy.